Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about some sleeping pads. Of course the wind picks up. Of course it does. The Thermarest NeoWare X Lite, the Thermarest NeoWare Uber Lite. Which one do I like better? Which one do I find myself grabbing for in the gear closet more often? So I've had the tried and true NeoWare X Lite for many, many years now. Uh, this pad is very popular among through hikers because of its lightweight and comfortability. It gets a bad rap here and there for a few things like its noise. It's definitely a noisy pad. Now there's something I absolutely hate about this sleeping pad. I'm gonna get into that, but first, it is so hot out here. And I'm so glad I brought a cooler. In one of my last videos, somebody commented, left at beer and unsubscribe too. And to that I say, cheers. Now the difference between these two pads is not astronomical. Same basic shape, same basic design. They're actually the same thickness. They feel like you're sleeping on the same pad. The x has been popular for years with lightweight backpackers because it's so comfortable and weighs so little. Now the problem with my x is this is the regular version, the 20 inch wide pad. Now I've slept on several 20 inch wide pads and most of them aren't that bad if they're a little bit of a shorter height pad. Now this one being two and a half inches, it really lifts you up on the, off the ground. So you kind of get that pool raft effect where you kind of feel like you could fall off of it at night and being only 20 inches wide, your arms always tend to like fall off the side of the pad. There's really no room at all for them. And I'm a small guy. I'm literally five foot eight. I weigh like 145 pounds I should be able to fit on a very narrow pad better than most people I feel like so if you're of average size this will not be wide enough for you I found that no matter when I sleep on this pad that I always have my arms crossed or trying to hold my arms up because you can't really let them hang two and a half inches down it's it's super uncomfortable like you have no choice but to hold them up while you're trying to sleep enter the NeoWare uber light now with this pad I did not make that same mistake and that is that's the thing I hate about that pad it's just too narrow now they do come in a 25 inch wide version uh, so when I ordered my uber light I made sure I got uh, the 25 and the thing that's really really cool about this this pad as a wide version actually weighs less than the regular version of the x Lite. so the x Lite comes in at 12 ounces which is very respectable as a 25 inch pad this is actually two ounces less than my x Lite. so this comes in at 10 ounces my x Lite being um, 12 ounces. Now, if you were to get the X-Lite as a wide, it's going to be about 16 ounces. So it's going to be six ounces heavier than this, which is considerable to me. I always think that uh, like eight ounces is half a pound and, and that's a lot. And I'm sorry if you uh, think in grams, but I think in ounces. But for summer trips, when it's not going to get too cold, the Uber Lite is just super comfortable for me. I have room for my arms. It's got a respectable R value of 2.3, which is not that bad. I know people really rant and rave about high R value pads but I think two 0.3 will still get you down into the upper 30s. Now the cons of the Uber Lite, obviously the R value is not going to be as warm as the X Lite. Also, it is more expensive. I think this pad was about $250 and that one hurt. Like that one hurt right here. Another con, the outer material on this pad is very, very thin. And I mean thin. Like I am super scared every time I blow this up. Uh, I, I go underneath my tent and make sure there's no sticks and rocks poking up. I am scared that I'm going to poke a hole in this. I honestly would predict that I will poke a hole in this at some point. It's that thin. And also the thing that I really worry about this pad is it does not hold air. Now comment down below if you have one and it holds air just fine, but I've talked to multiple people and we all have the same experience. We all have to blow our pads up in the middle of the night. I actually tested this out and put it in my bathtub, could not find a leak anywhere. And I actually had an interesting comment on a video and somebody pointed out that they, their theory at least, was that the material is just so thin that it just lets the air out through the material. It's, it's physically not thick enough to with withhold the air and I am starting to believe that because I've used this thing several nights now does that make it a bad pad in my opinion not really it hasn't been too much of a bother waking up in the middle of the night blowing a little bit of air in it one like one time during the night and it holds to the morning that's not a deal breaker for me and the thing that makes it not an issue is this is like a summertime pad. I roll it into the shoulder seasons for, for sure. Like I said, get it down into the 30 degree Fahrenheit range. But the fact that you're going to be using this pad when it's warm out, 
doesn't mean waking up on the ground is going to make you die of hypothermia. Now, if you're out in really, really cold winter temperatures and you have an insulated pad and you lose air in that in the middle of the night, you might wake up freezing. It's gonna take a long time for your body to heat back up. This being a pad that you're using in the summer or like the shoulder seasons, not a big issue. When I woke up like half on the ground, uh, I wasn't cold. So it's really not a problem other than you just have to get up or roll off the pad and blow it up. And to be honest with you, it never seems to lose that much air. It just takes like maybe two, maybe maybe three breaths to blow back up to full capacity. Now the cons for the X-Lite, a lot of them are similar to the Uber Lite. They both are very, very noisy pads. If you roll around a lot in your sleep, or even if you just are gonna switch positions a couple times, if you're if you're camped really close to other people like trust me it's in your head like you're thinking like oh i hope i'm not waking them up and uh you, you just try to get moved very quickly but other than the noise i find both of these pads to be very comfortable and i think for the weight that they are i think you can get a great night's sleep in the backcountry with either of these the x light does feel more firm i feel like the material in the uber light it just loses air so fast it never really feels completely full now the outer material on this is very thick i feel very comfortable with this pad i don't feel like i have to be super delicate like i like i am with the uber light it gives me a little bit of peace of mind this one never really feels that firm which might not be a bad thing given that it's so thin if it's pumped up completely all the way uh, you get a little rock or something under it and you put pressure on the top you're gonna probably poke a hole in it very easily now if you can see here the difference between the wide and the regular version it's it, it is substantial like I, I really wondered with five inches if that was actually gonna be enough for my arms it actually makes a world of difference I can't stress to you enough to go with the wide version of either of these pads if you get them now which of these pads do I think is better well if you got the money to blow and you're really going for that ultralight setup the uber light is amazing I think there's no other pad in its weight category that rivals its comfort but like I said that comes at a price it's a little bit sketchy <laughs> like you might you might not have a sleep pad if you pop a hole in it while you're out there but I think as far as like a shootout competition the X light takes it um, easily I mean they're both noisy pads but I feel like they're both equally comfortable if you get a wide version of the X light it's gonna be cheaper it's gonna be more durable it's gonna have a higher R value it's gonna keep you warmer in the winter it's just a better pad but like I said you're going ultralight you're doing a ton of miles out there on the trail and you don't mind waking up in the middle of the night and blowing a little bit of air in your pad go for the uber light I say go for the X light but honestly my favorite pad I own right now is the Uber Light. Now if you're not worried about weight as much, this is the guy to go for. Little announcement for you guys too, if you want to meet me, do a little live Q&A like in person, like in Columbus, Ohio, you have a chance to do that. So I'm getting together with a couple other YouTubers, uh, Show Brothers Outdoors, Andy and Kevin will be there. Frozen from Outdoor Adventures is gonna be there. Live Q&A at Endeavor Brew Stillery. We're actually doing it to commemorate uh, the release of a new beer. They have a new beer out called Trail Magic. It actually comes out that day, I believe. So you might be one of the first people to get to try it. But it's gonna be a lot of fun out there just drinking beer, answering questions. Um, I'm gonna post a link to that down below and uh, give you guys all the information for that as well. Can you guys tell how much I'm sweating right now? <sighs> Next couple of videos are gonna be inside for sure. So just wanted to really talk to you about really the Uber Light and tell you how it, it won't hold air. <laughs> but uh, both these pads are good. You really can't go wrong with either of them despite the small cons that I listed for them. But I enjoy them and I hope you enjoy the video. Subscribe for more stuff like this in the future. Uh, go to Patreon, give me a give me a buck or two, keep doing this, and uh, come see me at Endeavor on this date. I don't remember what it is. Sep 17th maybe, September 2022? See you there.